So the Minecraft community has been in some turmoil over the whole Minecraft video essay niche for a while now. Generally speaking, people have come to quite dislike critiques of Minecraft ever since a few videos were made by a YouTuber named Jet Starfish. Now, where the current problem lies is the fact of some people not being able to distinguish genuine critiques of the game from what they call Minecraft is boring videos. And well, after a few months of making Minecraft critiques and videos of that sort, I've gotten a lot of first-hand experience with the issues in the modern day Minecraft community. And what I've found is that most people, about a solid 80% of the Minecraft community, doesn't actually understand what the issue is. See, I've had many times people try to tell me my own beliefs, thoughts, preferences regarding the game. People just stereotyping my videos as Minecraft is boring and then seeing them as simply that and nothing else. And well, when you put a lot of time and love and passion into your videos, like for example I spent about five months writing the script to my progression video, it can be really frustrating when people see like one word in the title or thumbnail like progression and then just assume what the video is and just write off anything else discussed in it as invalid. This is an issue that is pretty much completely unique to the Minecraft community because of how generally isolated the Minecraft community is from other video game communities. It's so large that many of the people in it aren't into general video gaming and don't fully understand how game design and game reviewing and critiquing work. You can critique a game out of a place of love and passion for it. Just because you're critiquing a game doesn't mean you think it's boring. Pretty much every single time I make any criticism over Minecraft or suggest some way it could be better, there's bound to be someone there saying, oh, why do you hate it? Why are you playing it? Well, I'll tell you why, because I love the game and I see a way it could be even better. That's exactly what a video game critique is for. And if you're big on video games in general, you'll understand that, but if you're someone who like just plays Minecraft, doesn't pay attention to other video games, you might not. Which I think is part of the reason that there are so many people in the Minecraft community who, whenever they see anyone critiquing the game, just mistake it for hate. That being said, this isn't a one-sided conflict you do have some people on both extremes. There are probably some people who hate Mojang and hate Minecraft. Not many, but they probably exist. And then you have the other extreme that is just incapable of accepting any criticism towards the game. And as someone who criticizes the game a fair bit, I have to deal with that group also quite a fair bit. But although there may be some people of extremes, really the situation is not that simple. It's not that black and white. For example, with the Jet Starfish drama, a lot of people like to think, oh, Jet Starfish is the bad guy. Boo, we don't like him. Uh, Hayes, they're good. People like to think as Gurg as good and sip over. Boo, he's a nostalgia baiter. I'm dumbing it down a bit for comedic effect, but you get what I mean. That isn't reality though, that's just an easy way to imagine it, and that is the reality that someone might be pitching, but it's not the real one. This has become a common trend on YouTube now in the Minecraft community to make these sorts of videos constructing a certain narrative, saying, this guy I'm talking about, he's bad, you shouldn't like him. I'm fine though, but this guy, mm, he's not good. And then they give some subpar reasoning. Like, oh, he said progression is part of Minecraft, but I don't think it is. Basically saying, this guy's the bad guy, ignore my problems. And I can't help but feel that I've probably been somewhat guilty of this myself as well. But let's be honest here. Jet Starfish's videos, they had some good things, they had some bad things. But a lot of people just see the bad because that's what they've been told to see by another YouTuber. This happens all the time, and it's even affected me too. I hate Minecraft, I think it's boring, is what a lot of people will tell me I think. Look, I've never even alluded to that. This is just an example of the problems in the modern day Minecraft community. They see someone criticizing the game in any way, oh, they're just a hater. It comes from this mindset of wanting things to be simple, but they just aren't. I don't think Minecraft is boring. I definitely don't hate it. If I did, then why is it the game that I've played more than any other? 
why am I dedicating so much of my life to talking about ways that it could be better? It's because I really like it, and I see even more potential in it. But that won't matter to a lot of people, they won't care. Not when stereotyping is so big in the Minecraft community right now. Yes, you heard me correctly, stereotyping in a video game community. Minecraft is boring videos, or Minecraft is bad videos, aren't so much a genre, they're more of a stereotype, because the authors don't want them to be labeled as that, it's a title that gets applied to them by the viewers, and it's almost always falsely applied to them. Really, the only popular video in which someone alluded to Minecraft being boring was that Jet Starfish video from like a year ago. And then that video just kind of gave Minecraft critiques and video essays a bad reputation, I guess. A similar thing happened with the Minecraft beta community, where one person, Sipover, said old Minecraft was so much better than modern Minecraft. And then that became another video stereotype. Old Minecraft was better videos, when really it was just Sipover that said that in a popular video. This keeps happening, again and again. And if we don't change somehow, then it won't stop. And my proof that this is a real problem is, well, one, some of the comments on my own videos, two, many people's attitudes towards other Minecraft video essays. See, I made this video called Why Minecraft Feels Worse Now, and it ended up working very well as a social experiment, and I did not intend it to whatsoever. But it did. Anyway, why? Because people in the Minecraft community like stereotyping. People called the video nostalgia bait. I got another comment that I'm not even gonna say all of because it's that bad, but they essentially called it a nostalgia bait doomist meltdown. This, in argument evidence terms here, is pure gold. Nostalgia bait, that video was in no way whatsoever nostalgia bait. Doomist especially shows that they just did not listen to what I was really saying whatsoever, saw the words Minecraft worse now, and then assumed basically everything I said. They thought I was someone I wasn't because I have been the literal opposite of a Doomist since I started YouTube. I've always been promoting Minecraft's future as a game and how I can see it get better, and how we as a community can get better and also help the game. So calling my content Doomist has got to be one of the craziest things I've ever heard. Also, meltdown. My voice is a bit of a monotone, I'm aware of that, but unless I see something like really bad, then I'm usually very calm and composed in my videos while recording. There was another video I made where I talked about the possibility of adding a new difficulty setting or game mode inspired by old Minecraft to appeal to the players who missed that kind of survival game. There's one person who said something along the lines of, there's so much wrong with this video, there's no explanation needed, it's just wrong. But the explanation was uh, definitely needed because I really do not know what they were talking about. I never got that explanation though, so I'm guessing what happened is they saw the word stale in the thumbnail and then assumed that was going to be like the Jet Starfish video or something. And well, spoiler alert, it wasn't. But it doesn't matter because so often now with this mindset in the Minecraft community, people will see one word like progression or something that they could deem as Minecraft bad or Minecraft is boring video then they just won't listen to what the person has to say from there on out, and will basically just label it as enemy. The community is always going to be in a rough spot, so long as this mindset is so prevalent. And part of the reason that it is so prevalent is because of videos like Hayes' video about Jet Starfish and Gerg's video about Sipover. Although I'm sure it's probably not the author's intention, they tend to end up leading to more stereotyping in the Minecraft community, right? When you pitch one person from a group, you take the most extreme example of that group and then pitch them as even worse than they actually are. It's bound to lead to stereotyping towards that group and also a general feeling of 
hatred, but Minecraft isn't boring, but it does have flaws. And more people need to come to this middle ground, because really the first step to improving a game is recognizing its flaws and then figuring out a way to fix them. That's what we're trying to do here. I know maybe not all Minecraft critiquers have those good intentions, but I can tell you I do because, well, I'm not making any money off of this, and yet I have still been at it for months and hopefully will continue to be because I still have a lot of cool ideas I would love to share with you all. So really, thank you all for watching and hearing me out. I hope you have a great day. I also hope to see you in the next one, but for now, goodbye.